At the time of independence, Punjab University Lahore was the only university in Pakistan. University of the Punjab, as it was later called, was established in 1882 under Dr. G. W. Leitner. Its beautiful building was designed by Bhai Ram Singh. Dr. Alfred Wulner was one of its vice chancellors who did the pioneering work. Wulner's statue still stands outside the Allah Akbar campus of the university. University of the Punjab has the honor of producing three Nobel laureates. Arthur Holy Compton, 1927, Physics. Dr. Gobind Khorana, 1968, Physiology and Medicine. And Professor Abdus Salam, 1979, in physics. University of the Punjab Lahore has a unique distinction of being the oldest and the largest public universities of Pakistan, with over 56,000 on-campus students and above 800 permanent faculty members. It is comprised of five campuses. Thirteen faculties, ten constituent colleges, and seventy-three departments, centers, institutes, and six hundred and fourteen affiliated colleges. Our prime focus in Punjab University is to provide the excellent learning environment. This will improve the academic excellence of the university. The university offers state-of-the-art facilities and top quality education at a very affordable cost. The university offers facilities and grounds for all kinds of sports and its students win first prizes in most of the national competitions. The university produces a large number of MPhil and PhD scholars every year. We are focusing what to do and what type of research is applicable in our country. We are focusing on the applied research and the research which has got the socio-economic development in the country. It has 42 research journals and its research centers are full-time involved in research to meet the national needs University of the Punjab is aligned to the modern demands of research and innovation, as well as job creation and career development of its graduates. And our third point is to inculcate the social values and norms to our students. I think integrating these three areas which will bring the, this university in the top-ranked university in the world. It can truly be called pride of the nation. <laughs>